Hey guys, uh, this is a special video for today. I have not done a guitar solo in so long. In fact, I have removed it from my channel a long time ago. And I think I'm going to start by beginning with a guitar tutorial for Jethro Tull's song, Aqualung. I've got my electric right here, so let's get right into that. guys, um, this is Aqualung, we're starting off with the intro. By the way, if you have any questions in this tu guitar tutorial, please let me know. Do not hesitate to ask. So, I think we should begin. Don't you think? Yeah. Okay, let's start on the fifth. So, the intro starts on the fifth fret of the fifth string. So, you're going to play that and then go to the third fret on the sixth th string on the low E note. So it goes, and you're going to go up to the 6th fret on that same string, and you're going to go to the 3rd fret on the 5th string, and sometimes, uh, sometimes people play with the hammer on pull off to uh, the 4th the fret, or sometimes they just go like, and then they go back to the 3rd fret, I don't know. Uh, whichever one's, whichever one you're fe feeling comfortable with, there's no right or wrong way to play that part of the intro, but th th this is what you have so far. Yeah, so, that was, I, I just did both of the hammer on pull off and just this to show you the different options you have, but after you do that, you're going to do a power chord on the 4th and 5th string, you're going to put uh, your pointer or index finger on the 4th fret and your other finger, pinky, whatever, on the 6th fret of the 4th string. So you're going to play that once and then twice. And you're going to slide that up two more frets. Two more. You're going to go back back two more and you're gonna play on the fifth string so it's gonna go so you're gonna play that four times one two three four and so then you're gonna go back down to or sorry after you do that you're gonna go to the ninth fret and you're gonna play the same string and then you're gonna slide that down to the fourth fret on the the fifth string kind of like bend it a little bit. So this is what you have so far. Then you're going to 
go to the sixth fret of that same string, and you're going to play that four times. One, two, three, four, and then you're going to go to the fourth fret. And then you're going to go to the fourth fret of the fourth string. One more time. You're going to play the seventh fret of, you're going to start with the fifth and then move back down to the sixth string. So you're going to play those two. And then you're going to go back to where you started right here. So that's the whole thing. too fast if you again don't hesitate to ask questions uh, I'm keeping this nice and short so let's move on with the acoustic parts all right. all right so this is the acoustic parts Ian Anderson is known for playing the flute and the acoustic guitar and by the way in this song he has this capo on the third fret and so uh, some chords you need to know are the E chord or so sorry, the E minor, a D chord, an A chord, or an A minor, and an A major. And so you need to know those three, uh, oh, those four chords, in order to play this part. So it's if you don't, so I'm willing to tell you how to do those chords right now. So you start off with an E chord. You have your uh, these two fingers, your ring finger and your middle finger on the second fret, second fret from the capo on the fifth and the fourth and fifth strings. So you're just gonna play that like this. So you're gonna play it three times. Move down to the D chord. If you don't know what that is, you're going to put your middle finger on the third, on the second fret from the capo, on the first string, your index finger on the second fret from the capo on the third string, and your ring finger on the third fret from the capo on the second string. So you're going to play the first four strings, so it's just going straight down. And one thing Ian Anderson likes to do is he likes to move his middle finger off and on the string that it's on to give it some emphasis. So it goes like... So yeah, that's pretty much what he likes to do. He also likes to add his pinky right here on the third fret from the cape on the first string and take it off. And so that's just just some things that he likes to do. So once again, E chord, sorry, E minor, D chord, going to an A chord. So an A chord, you're putting your same fingers, same chord as the E string, except one one string below or above. So instead of being it on the fifth and the fourth and fifth uh, strings, it's on the third and fourth. So play that. You're gonna add your index finger on the second on the first fret from the capo on the fifth sorry on the second string. So it'll be an A major. Back to the E chord or the E minor sorry. And back to the D. So, now that you know what those chords are, I'm just going to name the chords instead of telling you what fret or, um, or string it's on. So, this is how it goes. So, you play E minor, D chord, and then it's going to be A minor, A major, E, and then D. Alright, and so you play that a few times, then when you get into the faster parts, you kind of strum the E chord, so once, and then three times on the D chords, and then add an extra one there, and then you go back to the E, E minor, D, then you go 
to the A minor, A major, E, E minor, back to the D. So then, th this time, the second time when you play it, and from there on, you go from the E minor to the D. Then you go, then instead of going to the E like you did on the first time, you're going to go back to like the slower, the way you did the slower parts, go to the A minor, and then A major, E, E minor, and then D. And then you keep doing that. And then, well, you start off with... I may be off right there, but uh, just if you have the recording, listen to it and make sure that it's right, okay? So that is it for the acoustic parts. Um, we're going to the, the guitar solo now, so this will be fun, alright? Hey guys, um, this is my re-upload of the Aqualon guitar solo, and so um, I actually realized that I messed up on the solo before, so I, th I thought it would be good to, to tell you guys that so you, you wouldn't be playing the wrong thing, you know? But so far, you want to start on the third string on the 7th fret, and then you want to you want to play these three notes, so the 7th fret on the third string, the the sixth fret on the second string and on the second string you're gonna do a hammer on pull off and bend onto the eighth fret so it's gonna sound like this maybe not a hammer on pull off but you're gonna play these three notes in order okay so once you master that you're gonna move down to the third fret on the third string and then you're going to do a hammer on pull off between uh, these these two frets, the second and the third. And then you're going to, after you do that hammer on pull off, you're going to move down to the fifth and the, the fourth and the fifth strings. And you're going to play that same fret, the third fret. So hammer on pull off. And you want to bend it right at that last note. So far you have... And you're gonna you after that you're gonna stay on that same note and then you're gonna play it again and then you're gonna go to the fifth fret on that string and then you're gonna go up to the third fret on the fourth string and then you're gonna move up to the fifth and then the seventh. So it's gonna sound like this. gonna bend it there and then you're gonna play it's almost the same you're gonna play the same same two notes on the third and the fifth on the, the fifth string and so instead of going playing the third note that you did on right here instead you're gonna go to the seventh fret on the fifth string so it's gonna sound like then you're going to move up to the, the 4th string on the 5th fret, you're going to play that, then play that same fret but on the 3rd string, and then on that string you're going to move down to the 3rd, so it's going to sound like this. Bend it there. And then, um, once you get that down, so this is what you have so far. Once you get that down, you're going to go down to the 3rd fret on the 1st string, and then you're going to put your your other finger on the 4th fret on the 2nd string, and your ring finger on the 5th fret of the 3rd string. And you're going to play those strings in order, like play it once, 1, 2, and 3, so it's going to sound like this. Bend it, you want to bend it there. 
And you want to you, next you want to bar the third uh, the first three strings on the third fret, and you'll play those in order the same way you did it the last time. Okay, after you do that, I mean that shouldn't be too hard compared to what you did here. And, and those notes. Actually, and after you do this, you're gonna play this again. So you're gonna go like. But instead of stopping there, you're going to go to the fifth fret of the third string. You're gonna play that four times. So it's gonna be like one, two, three, four. Go back to the seventh fret on the fourth string. Then you're gonna go back to that f the fifth fret of the, the 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 note you played right before that, and then go right back to the other note. And then this time you're gonna play that same note, and then do a hammer on pull off. So you're gonna play this note two times, and then you're gonna do a hammer on pull off to the seventh fret on that string. And then you're going to go back to the 7th fret on the 4th string. So once again, so here's what you have so far. So you're going to play this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you're going to go, you're going to go to the 7th fret. 5th, 7th. 1, 2, hammer on pull off. You'll end up back at the seventh fret of the fourth string, and then you'll go back to uh, after you do that hammer on pull off. You go back to the fifth fret on the third string, and then go back to the 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 seventh fret on the fourth string, and then go back to the third the th uh, the fifth fret on the third string. So after the hammer on pull off, it's gonna go like. So, sorry, sorry, I, I lost myself there. So you're gonna, so this is what you have so far. Then you're gonna go back to the fifth fret on the third string and then the seventh fret on that string. And then you're gonna, you're gonna do a pretty cool bend right here after you do that, you're gonna you're gonna go to the, the second string and you're gonna play the sixth, yeah, the sixth fret, and then you're gonna hammer on to the eighth and then bend. So all together it's gonna sound like and then you go after you do that bend, you're gonna go back to the sixth fret. Then you're gonna go to the fifth fret of the third string. Gonna do another hammer on pull off to the seventh fret. Then after you do that, you're gonna go back down to the third fret. And then you're gonna go to the fifth fret on uh, one string below, so on the, the fourth string. So you're gonna go. Go back go back up to the 3rd fret, 5th fret, and now instead of going back to that same note, you're going to go to the 3rd fret on the 4th string, and then you're going to go to the 5th uh, yeah, fret on the 5th string, bend it, play it again, then you're going to go back to the 3rd fret on the 4th string, so all together you you have sorry then you're gonna go to the fifth fret of uh, the fourth string and then you're gonna do an, a hammer another hammer on pull off yes there are tons of hammer off and hammer ons and pull offs in this in this solo. Okay, sorry, you're going to go back to the 3rd fret on the 3rd string and hammer on to the 5th fret. So, it's going to be like... Then you 
gonna go back to the fifth fret on the fourth string. Back to the third fret. And back to the fifth fret. Alright, so this next part I didn't learn until way after I learned uh, that the other part. But the guitarist the, the guitarist does something like this, so he he, he he still plays the 5th fret on the 4th string and then plays the 3rd fret on the 3rd string and after the 3rd you're going to move to the 5th like I just did and then you're going to bend it so you're going to bend it and then go to the 5th and the 3rd so um in case you get got lost, I'm going to start with the bend that you did earlier. And then you're going to do this. After you do that bend, you're going to go to the 5th and the 3rd. I'm pretty sure I already said that, but I've my short-term memory sucks right now. You're going to go back to the 5th fret of the 4th string, and then you're going to sort of do like a blues or pentatonic scale. I'm, I'm not familiar with scales. And then you're going to play, just play the 5th and, sorry, the 5th and the 3rd of the 4th and 5th strings. So we're going to play like that and then you're gonna put your pinky on um, on the low E string you're gonna put your pinky on the sixth fret and go back to the third so so far you have play that same note again and you're gonna do the pentatonic scale the other way now instead of Instead of just playing it like you did before, you're going to play the 3rd fret on um, on the 4th and 5th string twice. So, let me show you what I mean. So, sorry. Um, so, you're going to start right here, the, the low E string, the 3rd fret. You're going to go like 3rd, 6th, and then, and then up one string. Play the 3rd fret, 1, 2... Then you're going to go to the 5th fret, then you're going to go up one string, play that twice. Then you go to the 5th string, and then you're just going to resume from there. So it's going to sound something like this. So for the rest of that solo, after you do the panic, panic aton pentatonic scale. Um, I, I think the the guitarist just jams on from there. He he doesn't. It's not it's not a planned. Um, he doesn't go like a certain routine that he does on the guitar. He just jams right from there. So all together we have this. <laughs> If you have any questions or if you feel like I went too fast, please let me know. And um, I'll try and, and put this in, in the original video to make it seem um, like it, it was part of it. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.